Hey everyone, welcome back to the Scuff Gaming MLG 5K Series. Golden Boy here alongside Bioacid, bringing you the action as we have complexity up in the series 2-1 to one against Justice. Winner will go on to the semifinals as we have two rounds left to play here. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Battleground's going to be Domination on Freight. Now, Domination, a game type that Complexity has won in this series by 16 points. Freight, a map that Justice, unfortunately, does not want to look at again because they got obliterated here in that last game. So one has to wonder, Bio, is Complexity poised to take this 1-3-1? I think they are, and you'll see right now they're pushing hard on the other side of the map into Justice's face, pretty much. Trying oh to keep these goodness. guys out and keep them at bay. Over here in the B flag, they're halfway done. Crimzix right there at the front of it, and Crimzix 3-0 with one cap to his name. Now making that 4-0, finally getting shut down by Tipsy. But the damage was done. They've picked up the B flag quickly now and accumulating those points. And, you know, if you get an early lead, it does help you and get that momentum to keep it rolling. And out goes some long shots, long nades from Karma just to keep these guys off beat. I have to tell you, man, this, I don't know what got into complexity, but this is a much different team than what we saw, even in the domination match. In the domination match, we kind of saw them be a little bit more reserved on Sovereign. Karma dropping back, getting into a comfort zone. You know, you had them holding out B and, you know, their home flag, but it wasn't like anything as fast paced and wild as we saw in that Blitz matchup. The Search and Destroy, rather slow pace, saw them make a couple of mistakes here and there, but I don't know what happened in this dom in that blitz game i don't know what happened in between that search and destroy game to that blitz game maybe the loss really did affect them all that much because this is a much different squad hey mr x rang him up on the phone and said boys come on you you had the lead Probably. in the SD, what happened and you'll just see them now they've just changed their mood changed their angle and they've just been so much more aggressive in their nature you'll just see them now coming out and just these guys from justice are struggling to get past the halfway point not even the halfway point but past the quarter mark of the map they're yeah. just struggling in that regards. Cole, TP, and Crimson are holding them right at bay, but finally they get both get shut down. So hopefully this will let Justice out a little bit to run around the map perhaps and maybe show up. But just like that, you know, Neslo, one last player left for the moment, tries to get across the map, can't make it there. Crimson says, where do you think you're going? And shuts him down before he gets out of that map, map part. 20 points the game right now, Golden Boy, but look at that kill feed or just at that moment, it was in favor of Justice. But before that, it was all complexity. Yeah, and Karma picking up a double kill there. Going for the triple. Gets the triple. I mean, uh, amazing. Amazing stuff there out of Karma. Great positioning. Hanging out in the back underneath that uh, underneath that ramp there right by the train cart. And, I mean, my goodness. It's just the way that they're manhandling them. Finally, Karma getting shut down as Complexity decides to get a little too reckless and push up on that flag because they ended up losing their home flag because they had one member of Justice actually creeping around and going for that cap. So that ended up working out for them. You are right. You know, these guys now are trying to get their flag back. Of course, Complexity now here at C. They are losing, or well, they were losing A there for a moment, but A shutting that player down. It was over that side of things. They did pick up losing A. So A, C and B back in their hands, but A has been taken away once again. So they're rotating around the edge of the map, the Justice boys, and it's working out, I guess, in a, in a little way for them, but they've got to try and do something more, you know, permanent because just having a flag for a few seconds really isn't helping them that much. And while Complexity do have a 20 point lead here, it's just going to get larger and larger. And just like that, Justice come up on the map half and try and control a little bit here. Neslo on the C flag, almost halfway done. And he might be able to get a full capture here. No one really around to stop him. So that's going to help him out in that regard. Holding now A and C, while B is still held by complexity. Yeah, that's right. That's going to give uh, Aix an opportunity to go and cap A here. But they are going to be losing B. Bear that in mind. Crim6 can't jump down. Oh, great jump out of Crim as he manages to get on top of the train there right by the mid-tracks. They do get B again, and they get A. Now let's see how they're going to, I guess, react on this one. Are they going to continue to maintain their aggression? Seems like they certainly are going to do so. One player over by White. That's going to be a stop. All four down here as Justice gets shut down yet again by Complexity. Crim6 currently on a 6 a point streak here i mean need need i say more they're just they're, they're just on fire they are crimson inside of owens right now with his teammate who was there as well not too sure who was that it might have been tp no it wasn't it was ace who got shut down tp in the middle of the map here at the b side of things and just hunting around for any flyer these guys well they have swapped home flags they're just trying to keep these guys at bay underground they're coming up but there it is there gucci getting shut down 
by TP. Points. Big game indeed here at the first. It's only the first half as well, but if Complexity play a second half like this, it's done and dusted. It's going to be 3 1 in their favor in that regard, of course. There's still another five minutes to come, but Justice really have to change and mix things up a little bit because right now this is complexity's domination. It's it's very hard to even say like you know what do you change, right? I mean what yeah. like you just need to get kills at, at this point. That's really That's what it boils point, down yeah. to. There's not much more that you could possibly do. Just win your gunfight, shut them down, get the control of the game back in your hands, because it certainly is way out of their control at this point. It is, you know, they were trying to work that edge of the map to flank around, you know, the overextending and, and get the A and C flags. And it worked for a small amount of time there. They did bring it back to about, a, I think, a 10, 15 point down at one they stage. Did. But 31 points is the difference at the end of the first half. And complexity uh, just shutting him down. So you are right, Justice. The, the thing they have to change is get the kills, win your gun battles, and control the map. You know, get, get in the middle of that map and hold it down. If you can hold that area down and hold out the B flag and then maybe rotate for C and A at some stages, then they will stand a fighting chance. But... Right now, it's not looking in their favor to yeah. do that. It's going to be very tough. It's going to be very tough for them to have to answer back 31 points. I mean, we've been casting a lot today, and we haven't seen anyone come back from 31. We we almost saw Justice do it, though, but against Sigma, much different team yeah. in comparison to Complexity. You know, I would say on the tier level, Sigma, a very, very good team. But, I mean, you can't argue Complexity's track record, right? So it's 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 difficult to even say like oh yeah you know they could they could bring it back as they did so against Sigma, but again not impossible right not impossible because you know and, and just to reiterate they did do it against Sigma it's just now they gotta get the get the gunfights they gotta win it I'm really looking at Tipsy and Nezlo to step up here and be the in-game leaders and try and see if they can guide this one to a victory. Uh, he's actually going to be the player I'm going to take a look at first and foremost is Tipsy, just because, you know, for me personally, Tipsy is just, he's a very explosive player. And when he comes out the gate strong, it's a good look for, for Justice every time. Hopefully that's the case here on this second side of Domination Freight. Complexity currently up, plus 31. Good to see what this guy is going to be doing, obviously. He needs his second half now. We are here with Tipsy. Of course, they have to leave one player at the back of C to grab that. And they're going to leave. Well, they falls back. He was thinking, oh, who's going to push away, guys? And one player to challenge back and come back to the, the C flag or their home flag. And it likes to be called. But he's going to head out wide left-hand side. And there is a player waiting and watching this way. And there it is there, mm -hmm. Ake, shutting him down. As soon as he pulled out that left-hand side, out past red. And just like that, it's going to be... The complexity boys pushing towards B, but Neslo is behind them. Picks up one kill, picks up the double. Nice. And tries to shut them all down, but Kremzik will shut him down. Last man left, captures B. And just like that, complexity started to lead off here in the second half. Yep, and uh, again, sticking with Tipsy here to see what he's going to do, even though Neslo picked up two kills of his own. Kremzik's already opening things up with three kills there. But it seems like Tipsy's now going to do exactly what Complexity did to him on that last half, just get aggressive and push up. But we're noticing a little bit different of a play style here. Noticing Tipsy be a little bit more cautious, not not trying to push up, not not running around like a, like a psychopath the way we saw Complexity do <laughs> just a little while ago, really just being methodical with his movements. But on the other side, Chikuchi, he's going to be pushing up on A, looking at where his teammate was, hoping to see if he could probably pick off quite a few players here and make their way toward B because they've lost it out of the gate already. And on top of that, they're currently going to be down by about 12 points. So you add that to their 31, not looking too good. No, it's not Gucci now trying to hunt for any players he can. And he's going on a bit of a streak now, four point streak or kill streak perhaps in total. Because I don't think he's actually got any flags at this point. He's just running around the front there and finally getting shut down by Aches who was waiting for him to show himself once again. But just like that, Justice, you know, on this defensive side of things here, and they're trying to hit B with the whole team, more or less there. Trophy systems are out as well, but they're getting picked up as they try and push across. There's a couple of two-piece trying for the third. TP, nice shooting there with his m as he challenges across inside of fire now. And holding again this side of the map against the Justice crew. And these guys are trying to come out and, you know, push up on the map and, and be a bit more aggressive than what they were in the first half. But... Complexity are having none of it. They're just challenging and matching up everything that this just the Justice boys are, are putting up. And just like that, Complexity now maybe even looking to shut down the sea fly with TP inside of Owens here, waiting for this respawn. Yeah, there's not really much you could say about how Complexity is playing this. I mean, you know, 
it it we we've, we've said it time and time again. It's just straight up domination. That's it, and it, you know, and I, it's funny because it's the name of the game type, but that's what it is, right? I mean, you're just seeing complexity. I use this word once: dismantle their opponents and justice. Trying to figure out like what's going on here, right? Why why is this happening? Granted, though, you do have that B flag neutral position. You have a member of justice in the vicinity. Perhaps they might be able to make a cap happen, save some face here. But when you're looking at a 31-point lead, plus you have almost another 30-point lead on top of that bio, it's hard to say that Justice can come back into this with a minute and 52 seconds left. Oh, I think it is indeed. Obviously, almost a 30-point game in the second half. Not alone, of course, that 31-point game after the first half as well. So right now, Justice just seem to try, you know, make it look at least a bit more decent in regards to that scoreline. So I don't think they're going to be able to do it in regards to the total points that they need. Of course, the A flag in the hands of Complexity, the C flag in the hands of Justice. No one owning that B flag at the moment. And Complexity doesn't have a reason to go for it either. They don't. T like the, the Complexity team are pretty much leaving it as bait. They're saying, here, boys, go for that B flag. We just want to kill you. We don't want the flag. <laughs> we just want to get the kills now. Yeah, exactly. And that that's kind of just the, that's the issue here, right? I mean, it, we're not really, it's not the issue for Complexity. It's the issue for, for Justice because... They know that. They know that B is open specifically because of that. So what are they? What can they try and do? Go after their home flag. And one thing that I, you know, and here's the thing, guys. I'm going to take this 50 or so seconds to, I guess, just say something to the viewers that are watching. You know, I, I just want to say when people people get mad at complexity and all that stuff because of some of the things that they do, understand that it's it, it's more or less because. In everything in this world, you need to have heroes and villains, right? And I've known the Complexity guys for such a long time now. They, they, they don't mind being the villains. They'll shoot the bodies on the ground. They'll talk the trash online, because to them, it's you know, it makes it makes it all entertaining, right? Because that's what everyone is into this for. They're into it for entertainment, right? So that's why I always say, like, you know, people get mad, like, you know, the Complexity was shooting some bodies there. I know someone's gonna raise an issue with that being like why are they shooting bodies oh my god but it's just because you know like it's just because someone has to play the villain right i hope you're watching karma just there he's having a good old time shooting and uh teabagging a body yeah yeah and by the way eggs went six and 13 man he's terrible that's just uh <laughs> what a bad what a player you might win eggs but come on like put up a fight <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Complexity is going to take that one as they are going to be uh, going into the semifinals there in Karma. <laughs> so they get that last little, like, <laughs> knee bump in there, like a the little little crouch. Oh, God, these guys. Uh, so with that said, that's going to wrap things up for me here in the New York studios. Bio's going to be taking over, and Smiting Fatty is going to be coming in to help out. I, unfortunately, had made some plans beforehand, and I forgot about them. And, yeah, I got I to gotta go take care of that stuff. So, uh, but Bio, it's been an absolute pleasure to cast with you. I look forward to hopefully doing it more in the future. Winky face. Well, as do I. As you know? As do I. Uh, yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I'm picking out what you're putting Winky down. face. Um, but yeah, so really looking forward to it, though. Uh, and, and good luck for the rest of the finals. But Complexity is going to win that one three to one. I got to ask you, I, Ron, who are the last four or last four teams here? Uh, Curse LV, Envy, FaZe, and... Curse LV, Envy, FaZe. Coldest one. TK and so, Innovation are playing. A few matches still happening, I think. So some matches are still going on. Who do you think is going to take it? Bio. You're asking me or Ron? Yeah, me? Yeah, not Ron. Ron's in the back. He, no one can hear him. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares what he has to say. Oh, um, <laughs> he said it, not I me, Ron. Just to say <laughs> I, <laughs> just say no, I think after that performance, Cole, uh, a tip. But you know, that said, who who knows? Like Curse LV, a strong team as well. So yeah, I, and Envious as well. You know, there's still some big big names in that in this competition. So yeah. I think it's sort for grabs in that regard. But you know, overall, I, or maybe I might tip complexity. Yeah. Yeah, I just found out Chris Youth uh, went over uh, phase, so anything can happen. 3-0 <laughs> too, wasn't, wasn't even close. Yeah, I mean, the shutout's real. Oh, so it is what it is, though, and uh, good showing there for Chris Youth, good showing there for Complexity. Two teams are going to be moving on to the semifinals, waiting for two more there. But that's, again, going to do it for me here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you stay glued to MLG.TV slash COD. For Bioacid and Smiting Fatty bringing you the semifinals and finals of the Scuff Gaming 5K. See you guys later. Take care.